What is there to say about Jake Paul? Mostly negative, but there's a couple positives in there too. In every negative person, there's something positive about them. I don't watch Jake Paul's video, so the last thing I know about him is about that fight he had, that he won. Which doesn't really count in my book because his competitor was not a competitor. That was not competition. He boxes fighters that he knows he's gonna win. He needs to fight boxers that's gonna really challenge him, okay? Just my opinion. And then there's that tweet about anxiety. Reminding people that it's really up to you. When we know damn well that anxiety is a chemical imbalance in the brain. It's a mental disorder. So a lot of people attacked him, and I will say this, they bullied the fuck out of him, which I don't believe anybody deserves, not even a bully. I think people should have just educated him, and you have to remember, he's young. He's still learning. We are all still learning. Other than those two things, I don't know what he's been up to, but PewDiePie seems to know, and I have not reacted to PewDiePie yet. So this is gonna be my first video of him, and this video is called, What is Jake Paul up to? Now you know PewDiePie, he knows all the facts, he puts all the bits and pieces out there, a bunch of clips, and it makes you wonder, and makes you think, because this guy's very intelligent, man, and he's got a nice sense of humor, so let's go ahead and watch. You know, when I was on break, it gave me some insight of what's really important. It gave me some ideas around what I really want to focus on in the future. <laughs> this fucking guy, he already starts it off with something funny. Something he wants to focus on in the future. Roast Jake Paul. <laughs> Here we go. Focus on in the future. And it made me ask, what is Jake Paul doing? What is Jake Paul doing right now? Huh? What is he up to, that little snake? Little Jakey Jake, has he finally gone fully bald yet? These are the questions I've been thinking about. What do we got? YouTuber Jake Paul launches entrepreneur how to platform financial freedom movement. Yes, Jake Paul is the person okay. I look at when I, when I envision financial freedom. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's dig into this. This is interesting to me. They say we're entitled and lazy. Wait, he has a commercial? Okay. Let's watch. This is interesting to me. They say we're entitled and lazy. Who is they, Jake? Huh? They tell us to go to college, get a job, retire at 65. How's that working out for us? How's that working out for us? <laughs> so smug. You're not 65, Jake. <laughs> Oh, Jake Paul, where is your team? Where the fuck is your team? I understand you're trying to promote, to promote your business. This ain't the right way to go. You're telling all these kids that having a nine to five job, going to college, retiring at 65 is bad. Now I do agree, it's not for everyone. If you can find a way around those things, go for it. But do not tell all these damn kids that to not go in that direction. Who are you to say that? Don't forget about your father and your mother who had not those nine to five jobs to support you and your brother, to raise you and your brother. Because the way you're coming off is negative and you're talking down on those people that do have those jobs and that do go to college and, and do retire at 65. This ain't the right way to go, man. <laughs> You can become financially free by paying me money, mm. all right? Trust me, you, you don't understand. It starts by paying me money. Ignore all this endless content on YouTube with, with actual legitimate people talking about uh, financial advice. That and who he's targeting are the young kids because he knows these older people are not gonna fall for his shit. And actually have some legitimacy and, and trustworthy and, and uh, weight to them. But now, really what we need to do is we need to pay Jake Paul. Are your parents happy? Are they living the life they wanted? I don't fucking know. Boy, what are you saying? You are talking down to all these hardworking people. Let me tell you something about my parents. I'm gonna say this very shortly. My dad worked two to three jobs throughout his life to support his family. And then there's other people his age who own businesses. But owning a business is not what my dad wanted. That's not what, that was not his goal. What made him happy in his heart was to create a foundation for his children and to have a better life for his kids. A realtor, two nurses, a sterile tech for the OR, a college volleyball coach, and a tax collector. All great careers, all great 
jobs. All my sisters supporting their children, supporting their families, we're doing good because of my father. And because of that, my father is a happy man. But don't talk about all these parents, Jake. Who the fuck are you to say something like that? Boy, let me get back to this video. I think they are. I think they are. I don't think anyone. Do you sell my parents on this? There's over one trillion dollars in student loan debt and people with outdated education who can't even get a job for the student loans they took out. Okay, now that I agree with. That is a fact. It took me 10 years to finish paying off my student loan. And I didn't even finish college. <laughs> so that shit bit me in the ass. But I do not regret it. I am well educated in business because of that. Student loan is the cheapest loan you can ever get. It's one of the most fair loans. It's a great loan to actually take advantage of. It's such dog breath to be like, oh my, my student loans. I mean, that's true, PewDiePie. Student loans is an investment. You're investing in your life and your future, and it will pay off at the end. If you use it correctly, of course. Maybe we're too young to have experienced this yet, but if you're not, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know. I've had enough of it. Our generation is better than this. We deserve better. We're smarter. So what's the solution? Oh my God, is it just me? Is it just me? He's saying that his generation is smarter. Now, I'm not one of those older people who say that all oh, these kids are dumb. No, it's not that. When we were kids, we were all fucking dumb. We all made bad decisions. Every single one of us. You're not smarter, kid. You have more technology in your generation than we did. Doesn't make you smarter. In math class, we were not allowed to use calculators. We had to show our work every single step of the way. Does that make us dumb? This kid is pissing me off right now. Okay, what is it, Jake? For our generation, one that inspires people to take action to achieve their This is not a product, this is a movement. Oh wait, it's literally in the name. I didn't even realize. <laughs> <laughs> not the dreams our parents have for us or our society. We need a movement that inspires people to live life on their Not something else. A movement that anyone who's- Hey, rich cards! Expensive! Can be financially free from the societal cookie cutter nine to five jobs we are all told to have. The future is in our hands. Are you with me? I'm okay. Thank you, though. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, PewDiePie. I'm... <laughs> What's going on? What the hell was that? Did you guys catch that? Are you with me? <laughs> what the hell? Are you with me? <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> the small things he catches. No, definitely not now. Why did he do that? This channel has 72 subscribers. Wow, this is really taking off. Uh, there's, a, there's one more video before we dig into this. Meet some of the experts, okay? Learn from me and a dozen other experts and millionaires. Ah. Learn from me and a dozen other experts. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine. PewDiePie, you're funny, yo. Maybe if you stayed in school, Jake, you wouldn't know what a dozen is. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Break free from the normal nine to five and live life on your terms by achieving financial freedom. From the homie Mark Lack, the king of personal branding, who's helped the students generate over $300 million online following his strategies. Let me guess, it's just a bunch of people that you don't know who it is, basically. Dan Fleischman, he's the youngest founder Dan of the Dan Fleischman! Dan Fleischman's in, I gotta pay 20 bucks right now. Learn from my homie Trav, an e-commerce expert with 10 years of experience. Oh my god, Trav. You know Trav, of course he did. He sold eight figures online and created products for some of the biggest brands in the world, like Star Wars, Minions, and WWE. Join the movement. Join the movement. Now, I'm not denying the movement that he's trying to create here. It's the way he's going about it and his, in and his intentions behind it is where I had the issue. Uh, I like how <laughs> they're supposed to be experts on marketing and all these things. They don't even link what the website is wow. in any of the videos. We'll teach you all the tricks. We teach you all. Don't link the website. What kind of marketing is this? Wow. All right, I'll just Google financial freedom moment. That'll do it, right? Okay. See what pops so up. So it took a while, but I found the website. Your terms, dream goals, financial freedom. Oh wow! Look at that. Walt Disney is in on this. <laughs> do you really think they are? What What have they done for this? They always add these. I'm like, what do they mean? They don't mean anything. Cutting edge mentorship, coaching, and training. Who are these people? That's what the Team 10 crew. Face? You get personal, <laughs> his personal rituals. 
He has rituals and secret formula. Mm. <gasps> Live weekly video coaching calls. <coughs> when it comes to YouTube, you do not need to go to any of these classes. Do not fall for any of these scams. I hate when people pay for a class to watch someone who did succeed in it teach you how to be successful. That person is successful because of his own creative self and his own personality. You can be taught certain skills, but if people are not gonna relate to you, it's gonna be difficult to succeed. So you'll be wasting your fucking money. Do it on your own, be unique, be different. That's, that's all it is. That's all it is to succeed. Wow, can't wait to join on those. Oh, okay, so there's more to be named soon, that's why. There's more people coming in on this. All right, let's look at these. If you're a photographer and you go shoot for Jake Paul for free, a bunch of shots, right? Well, a lot of other influencers and brands follow Jake Paul. I like how Jake so Paul knows his blessing in this shot. But the same concept applies. You film for them or photograph for them, and then Jake might follow them and he wants to hire you. I might follow him and wants to hire you. A brand might follow them. Guys, what you really need to do uh, in this tutorial of financial freedom is you need to work for Jake Paul for free. Is this him <laughs> rationalizing for himself that he did this whole thing for free? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, it's sale! It's not 40 pounds per month. Oh wow, that's so generous. Do not charge 40 pounds <laughs> four times a month. Now that can be false advertisement. This could literally have been their plan of being $20 a month. But in order to make you feel that you're saving money, that it's on sale, they're going to put that $40 per month. So that can be manipulative, or it really did go on sale, and it probably went on sale because ain't nobody paying for this shit, except for them baby kids, them young kids that are underdeveloped and don't know that they can do it on their own. Flakes. Nah, it's just half. Don't worry, guys. Click here to enroll now. Absolutely. I'm sold. Who is this for? His followers. <laughs> Who wants to become financially free? His, his eight-year-olds, his fellow eight-year-olds who's nah. just struggling, grinding out there. <laughs> they just want to reach that financial freedom, man. Come on. The Freedom Fam! We're a family! Top prize is I'll fly you out to film a vlog with me, and I'll share it to my millions of followers. I wonder if he'll actually follow up on any of this. I wonder the thing too. Is, Jake's already done a, a similar scheme. Uh, what was it called? It was called Edfluence. It was the exact same thing where he said, you want to become big social media star like me? I'm big social media star. You need to pay me. All right. The last thing they posted was in November 2018. 50% sale! 50% sale! <laughs> He's not doing well. He's not. And he is very business savvy. I will give him that. He is. He does think outside the box. It's just... <sighs> I don't know, man. His business, his business ventures right now, recently, is not working out for him. And the best part about this is the site is down. Like you can't even reach it anymore. Man, if you go uh, to join now on Financial Freedom, it seems like a bad idea to pay the 150 up front. You know, just in case he decides to remove the whole right. website, mm -hmm. <laughs> which he definitely will. Right. Uh, where's my login? All right, here we go. All right. So this is the this is the page. This is how it looks like. You can add your favorites. This is a good thing. You can add your notes. That's pretty cool. I can add a note here. <laughs> how do how do you add a note? No notes found. So let's start the training. I'm ready oh, to gosh. learn financial freedom. Here we go. I don't really care about Jake Paul. I'm only here for Dan Fleshman. All right. I only want to know what Dan Fleshman has to say. That's really why I paid for this. Oh, uh, no one's liking Dan Fleshman stuff. Oh, uh, don't worry. <laughs> I got you, Dan. I got you. <laughs> Can I dislike the other ones? I'm only here for Dan. Do you think these <laughs> kids are signing up to get a nine-hour course of Billy Jean? I don't want to belittle, maybe he I, he probably knows more than I do, but I just don't see the value for Jake Paul's audience. So I'm not going to show the footage because I'm pretty sure it'll get copyrighted, but it's basically the person in your... And it's, oh, Jake Paul, if you're going to have these business people be involved in your venture, have them be more entertaining. You as an influencer already know that these young kids have a short, have a short attention span. These businessmen that you have need to be creative and, illustr and illustrative in order to capture their attention. No young kid is going to want to watch you guys sit down and talk. Your target audience are the young kids. 
you and Jake. Someone that's more qualified, has more experience, and, and actually seems to know someone, at least, they're just interviewing Jake and talking about Jake stuff. So if you want to pay 20 bucks a month for that, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. My favorite part of this, uh, signing up to this course, is not just for uh, Dan Fleshman, it's for the community. That's right. You get access to the private Jake Paul financial freedom community. So here are the... Re I don't have any friends. I like this. Bend over. What's up, Jake Paulers? If you're tired of all the hate for Jake Paul, like this post. Smash like. I'll be the first one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's really people just posting memes or asking if... How can I unsubscribe? Damn. How, how can I stop paying this? I don't want to pay for this. And this guy replying, you guys are so stupid. Why do you want to join a movement and then cancel your subscription? Which you can do, by the way. Or maybe you don't want to pay 40 bucks a month. Because they start charging you 20. What's there to say that they're going to charge you 40 after you sign up, right? If it was, is it always 50% off? My photos. I'll create an album. When they launch this thing, they have this whole event. It's gonna be massive, right? Everyone's gonna wanna come to this financial freedom <laughs> movement thing. I mean, it looks, from the looks of engagement and all that, it looks like luckily not many people are buying into this. I know, and that's then good. You can look at the launch, which is great. So here it is. It's gonna be all over it. It's gonna be a whole line. It's gonna be TanaCon uh. 3.0. And here's the reality. Oh, a bunch man. of kids, about what? Damn. A dozen, maybe? I don't... Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. Very sad. I don't know how much that is. <laughs> and I think this is for the people that bought the merch or something like that. We ain't playing games right now. Our boys are There's more cops there than actual people visiting. Right. <laughs> Man, this is very bad promotion and marketing. How are you gonna show how empty the place is? Like, you see that group right there? Get real close shots of the group of people. Make it look like it's a lot of people. <laughs> but you're, pr you're pretty much showing that this is not a great turnout. Where's your team, Jake? Say, ideas, ideas are sh without execution. I thought it was going to say education. <laughs> that looked like I had a lot of fun. Who wouldn't want to pay to go there? What's this saying? <coughs> I don't know what's going on. Great. What a great event. And why the fuck are you up there? There's not that many people. You're not going to get mobbed. Those are your true supporters. Those people right there. The ones that fell for this bullshit. Get off that fucking balcony and get down to those supporters. Bruh. Well, I thought this was about financial freedom, Jake. He's very passionate. Jake Paul is complaining about how in school he didn't know why he was there. Jake, what didn't work for you may work for others. You can't put everyone on the same boat as you were. We have some amazing experts. And actually learn! And actually learn! That's why. No other reason. Lenny's Pizza! Get ready to quit. Now, I agree with Jake. I believe the education system sucks. Everything that you're learning in elementary is good to learn. You gotta learn the basics. But everything in middle school and in high school, they're not teaching you life skills. They're teaching you about history that you no longer live in. Nothing has been updated. 
Teach these kids how to use credit cards. Show them the different careers that they can get into other than doctor, nurse, scientist. There's other shit. But you guys are not giving them those options. At the same time, what you're doing is teaching these kids to drop out of school. That's pretty much what this is. Let them finish getting their, their high school diploma or their GED. I don't believe that kids after high school should be going straight to college if they don't know what they want yet. But let, let it be their choice. Quit school and just pay 20 bucks a month because that's all you really need. There's some amazing quotes from this uh, interview that Jake did with Variety as well, where he was saying, I was like, why are we sitting in class right now learning the quadratic formula when we should be learning about taxes and insurance? Teacher, please! I need to learn about taxes and insurance right now! Do you think he, he said like that? Where's my taxes? <laughs> Huh? Enough with this- <laughs> Oh yeah, 100%. When Jake was in school, I'm pretty sure that's not what he was thinking. I'm pretty sure he dropped out of high school because he was bored with it. He didn't want to learn. His attention span is very short and he just wasn't- He just didn't like school. But because he's successful and he's older now, he realized that, you know what, school really didn't teach me anything. And so he's over here saying- <laughs> Boy, if you don't. It's quadratic formula. I need financial freedom. I, I, how am I supposed to get it? Jake Paul is a reason why no one, no one likes YouTubers. It's just like, well, I'm probably a guilty as well. Never mind. And then he <laughs> says that he dropped out of school at 11th grade, completing the diploma through an online course. I just got the answer from a cheat site and put it in and didn't have to do any work. Wow, you're so epically smart, Jake. I bet you were probably the smartest kid in the class, weren't you? Oh wait, you say you are! <laughs> On this tweet talking about this, our education system is worthless. WORTHLESS! I'm fed up. I don't know how to capitalize. Maybe you enter school, you learn how to write. Jesus Christ, this is a mess. Damn. If you're confused at what the event is tomorrow, basically I'm sick of our education system and how it's teaching kids zero real life skills for them to secure their own- THEIR! THEIR OWN FUTURE! <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. I'm creating a movement for everyone who wants to take life into their own hands and learn real life skills from actual professionals. Why are kids sitting in film class? Film? Learning from a teacher who has never even made a film! These dumbasses. And that's just one example. He has many more, don't worry guys. That's just one example. There's no, there's no need to re uh, refute it because he's got a whole backlog of ideas and arguments. Here it is. I was the kid in class. I like how he capitalized all of a sudden. Who was the smartest? Don't! <laughs> I couldn't apply myself because I thought it was so stupid to be sitting there. I thought it was so stupid to be sitting there. It's all we are taught. Where are my taxes? Where's my insurance <laughs> classes? It's so disingenuous to put forth like this is what you're passionate about when in reality the only thing Jake Paul has money. shown himself to be passionate about is making money. money. Jake Paul is the kind of celebrity that doesn't have any real value so all they- This is why- Oh, why him? Why him? Can someone else do this other than Jake Paul? He has bad intentions. He doesn't know how to communicate his thoughts the correct way. He's got a great mind of a businessman, but he doesn't know how to use it to influence other people the right way. Like, he's using kids, because kids are the easiest to manipulate. They do is they project this image of wealth, and now he's monetizing that to get more money. It's like he's stuck in this loop where he has to pretend that he, it's all about money to make more money. He's doing his best to make all that extra money because he is losing lawsuits. Okay? A lot of people have been suing him for God knows what, but he just finished talking about this at Logan Paul's podcast. The podcast is called Impulsive. He cries about it. He got very emotional. So he's trying his best to make some money right now. But in reality, you could replace Jake Paul with anything or anyone. It wouldn't make a difference. He's literally empty and no one. The message is fine. Like I, right. I agree that so much of the school system is outdated. For sure. What the f is Jake Paul gonna teach you about this? Or some bozo, some fucking bozo you never heard about. Thank you. Uh, like I said before, there's a ton of actual, inspiring, legitimate people that you can listen to on YouTube. Yes. If you want to, for free! Not yes. monthly payment! I know! This is just another Ed Flynn scam. I don't yes. need to tell you, or because you already know it, this is complete bullshit. Yeah. There's no for sure. saying it. But I do think it's interesting these things are still happening. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry, but I gotta keep watching another How to Develop Launch Mo Mo. I just gotta keep going, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, smash like and make sure to subscribe. 68% isn't subscribe. Alright, I don't really like 
videos because uh, I don't know, I just don't do it. But I'm gonna like this one. Where you at? Right there. Bam. Good job, PewDiePie. I believe uh, you said everything that I wanted to say. I know I said it already in this video too, but you know, I'm passionate. What can I say? Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.